Coming up on Fulton Today, an iconic civil rights leader lends his support to the battle of eradicating AIDS in Fulton County. We'll explain. A renewed focus on economic development breaks ground in North Fulton. And later, another new library branch officially opens its doors. Those stories and much more when Fulton Today starts right now. Welcome to Fulton Today, everybody. I'm Shawnya Chavis. Fulton commissioners get the help of a civil rights icon in the battle against AIDS in Fulton County. Georgia Congressman John Lewis spoke to the HIV task force and offered whatever assistance he could provide. FGTV's Priscilla Ortega was there. That's right, Congressman John Lewis joined the county's HIV AIDS task force at the Center for Civil and Human Rights to lay out new goals for the county as it hopes to rid AIDS. Now part of that strategy plan includes testing at high schools and colleges as well as eliminating discrimination against those with HIV. Civil rights legend John Lewis wants to help reduce the stigma against those living with HIV and AIDS in Fulton County. Health care is a right. It's not a privilege. And all of our people, and it doesn't matter whether they're black or white, Latino, Asian American or Native American, whether they're male or female, straight or gay, deserve the best possible health care. The HIV AIDS task force says about 15,000 people in Fulton have been diagnosed with HIV. But health leaders say it's those who have the disease and don't know it that are fueling the rise in new cases. That's why taking an HIV test is so important. Now the task force is presenting phase two of its strategy plan to stop the spread of the disease. Commissioners say they'll do everything they can to help. We feel we have the resources, we have the will, and it's just a matter of allocating the resources in the places where there's the greatest need. Goals for this next phase include introducing HIV education and testing into Fulton County and Atlanta high schools. It affects all of our population, so starting as early as we can to let people know how important it is to um, be educated about the effects of this disease will help us eradicate this disease. The task force also recommends what's called opt-out testing. That is asking all who come into health care settings and jails to be asked if they would like an HIV test. The group is also working toward a syringe exchange program so needle sharing won't help spread HIV. Throughout this process, the task force stresses how important it is to get feedback from the community, especially from those living with HIV. Now, if you want to provide some feedback, you can do so by using the information on your screen. Reporting for FGTV, I'm Priscilla Ortega. Thank you very much, Priscilla. Meanwhile, in other news, North Fulton is set to enter the world of luxury and lodging thanks to a brand new conference center. Al Nash is Fulton's Director of Economic Development. Sir, welcome to Fulton today. Appreciate the opportunity to speak to you today. So this is very exciting with Fulton's renewed interest in economic development. Tell us about this project and how it is a good example of that. Well, this is a great example of public-private partnership. The City of Alpharetta and the Development Authority of Fulton County have come together to create this opportunity for the, not only for the citizens of Alpharetta, but for this whole, for the whole county and especially the north, northern area. And Al, get a little bit deeper into the project. Well, it's a, it's a combination of a hotel and a conference center, and it also fits into the Avalon development, which is award-winning development. It's really addressing the lifestyle that, that companies and our citizens in Fulton County are looking for. It's very uh, user-friendly, there's a lot of activities, a lot of energy. It's a live, work, and play community. And what about some of the other projects, Al, that are on the horizon for Fulton's economic development team? Also on this campus here is a new high-rise office building, which is the first high-rise office building that has been constructed in North Fulton for a uh, spec building in some 10 years. And my reports that I'm getting are that they're having great success in the leasing. There's also room for additional projects. 
but we're seeing activity all over Fulton County from the, from the south end to the north end, end of our county. We're really addressing some of the great needs and opportunity. People are coming here, companies are locating here, companies are expanding because they see a very positive thing that being delivered by our leadership within Fulton County. Al Nash leading the county's economic development team. Always good to see you, Al. Thanks so much for your time. I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you today. Now, if you would like to get more information about Fulton's economic development projects, you can log on to selectfultoncounty.com. Fulton's workforce development team makes good on a promise to try to help some teens land a job. This was the second job fair hosted by Fulton County. That's because in May, organizers were expecting just under 100 participants, but well over 600 attended that fair. And unfortunately, we could not accommodate them all. We felt the need for those persons who came out, who made the effort, who stood in line and who even stood through periods of rain to offer them an opportunity that they were unable to get. The job seekers who attended the May 21st event and provided staff their contact information were invited back to the do-over session. That was a gesture that even the parents appreciated. Well, we were here on the 21st, it was so many kids, mm -hmm. so they gave us an opportunity, which I appreciate, for us to come back this time. And yes, it's definitely a positive, we're leaving on a positive note because my daughter got some good information and she should be having a summer job soon. Parents and organizers hope the overflow of the job seekers highlights the need for more summer employment opportunities for youth. Students participating in the Junior Deputy Clerk Summer Program did their first good deed of the session. Their first community service project involved helping Hosea feed the hungry and homeless. Today we actually have the interns from the Junior Clerk Deputy Clerk Program and they're actually out doing their community service project. And so they're working with Hosea Feed the Hungry and today they're doing working in the warehouse sorting and counting for their audit. It was the first of four trips to help the beloved organization from checking inventory to learning about Atlanta's homeless issues. It was a productive and educational experience. It does a lot of great stuff like feeding them, sheltering some and then uh, clothing some, and it's a lot of fun actually to do this, and then the rewards for others are really great. Along with helping out Hosea Feed the Hungry and Homeless this summer, the students are scheduled to sit in on juvenile court cases and visit the National Center for Civil and Human Rights. Well, all good things must come to an end. Go forward with your newfound knowledge to help Fulton County continue its high standard of excellence. Ambassadors, family, and friends made their way to Assembly Hall to applaud the 2016 graduates of Fulton County Citizens University. The 12-week-long program gave citizens a first-hand look at how Fulton County government operates and the service it provides. I would just like to encourage any person, whether in Fulton County or in their respective counties, find out what's available to you in terms of services. Find out if they have a program like Fulton County Citizens University in your county so that you can go and become active and find out what programs are available, what services are available, what avenues for volunteering are available, to not only for your community, for your kids, for those people who don't have a voice. You can find a way that you can become a voice to help those people. So this is definitely an opportunity and something that I would encourage everyone to at least investigate and find out about. And I think a lot of times we take for granted what Fulton County actually does, government does, and we think it's something really small, but it's actually big, and there's a lot of components working together to make it um, successful. So I think every citizen should come through the university. Chief Financial Officer Sharon Whitmore presented the 18 graduates with their certificates and thanked them for participating in the program. Registration for next year's class will open around the start of spring. You can log on to FultonCountyGA.gov to keep track. And congratulations to them all. And still to come on Fulton today, commissioners check in on an event honoring teens and their spirit. It's a part of our district by district coverage next. Fulton commissioners hand over a big check to one deserving organization and citizens waste no time signing up for those 
popular senior programs. Here's this week's District by District coverage. We begin with Chairman John Eves and Commissioner Joan Garner as they recognize winners of the Spirit of the League Awards. The commissioners join TV actress Keisha Knight Pulliam for the event hosted by the Urban League. During the luncheon, three young people were honored for exhibiting the Spirit of the Urban League movement and the Urban League received a check for $100,000. Doing great work in our community in terms of youth programs, youth development, criminal justice, reform, ex-offenders, uh, job creation, etc. And they are very credible, noteworthy, vibrant organizations. I'm very inspired that the Urban League is here to help young people um, get on the right track, um, seek opportunities, and to really become wonderful, productive citizens. My mentor, Charles Walker, he taught me, you know, uh, about transitioning into the work world, you know, just really how to be a man, uh, how to stand on my own and not. Uh, fall into the peer pressure and influences of other people, you know, trying to drag me down all the time. So uh, it's really been a blessing in a lot of ways. The mission of the Urban League movement is to enable African Americans to secure economic self-reliance, parity, power, and civil rights. By honoring these individuals, the League's goal was to inspire individuals in the community who may be facing challenging times. District 5 seniors get a jump on registering for their favorite classes. The members of the Bowden Senior Center signed up for the summer quarter classes, which all start this week. Like at most of the centers, the seniors will enjoy fitness classes, computer classes, and a host of other programs and services. It is not just a place they come and sit down and laugh and socialize. There are things that happen here that that person is looking for. So rather than go to Gold's Gym or LA Fitness, they come here. And uh, of course, being a Fulton County resident, they don't have to pay for it. I loved it. I got uh, healthier as a result of joining the classes, the aerobics class, the water fitness class, and it was just, it made such a uh, difference in my physical well-being that I said, I gotta come back. The seniors even registered for Spanish, chorus, quilting, guitar, calligraphy, and sewing classes. There are dozens of classes offered at Bowden and all of the senior facilities. You can contact the Star Line to get more information. And finally, in District 6, Commissioner Emma I. Darnell joins seniors at the New Beginning Senior Center as they try to help people in Haiti receive health care. The center's participants hosted their annual fish fry to raise funds for a mission trip. This is the fourth year the seniors have hosted the event. What makes it so good, though, is this project benefits not only this community, but also our brothers and sisters in Haiti. And we want to thank them so much for all that they're doing here in the Fairburn community and around the world. Seniors have helped to raise hundreds of dollars for the mission trip to Haiti. Haiti is a Caribbean country in North America. Since the 2010 earthquake, the country has been slowly recovering with the help of public and private donors. Looking to make a splash this summer? When we come back, we'll show you what's being done to ensure your safety at the pool. Fulton's health professionals push HIV awareness to new heights. They are doing everything with the whole mission of getting people to know their status. FGTV's Lynn Vaughn has the story. Knowing your HIV status and getting into treatment if necessary is something health leaders are pushing everyone to do. People who test HIV positive, we want to immediately get them linked to care so that they live a long, productive, healthy life. As part of National HIV Testing Week, the health department held a number of free testing events, including this one at the Mall West End. V103 star host Wanda Smith helped bring in the crowds. I know I have a voice and my job is to get out in the community to bring those people in to let them know that it is serious. The Awareness Week also opened up a much needed dialogue among healthcare professionals at the Loudermilk Center. 
I think for a very long time we haven't had an open level of communication amongst clinicians, health department, and community. The focus was sort of on clinicians to see what we could do to help people who are not part of our system of care become part of our system of care and what we could do to help them feel more comfortable serving people with HIV disease and how we can help them better serve them. Besides regular HIV testing, another goal for HIV prevention is to increase awareness on PrEP, or pre-exposure prophylaxis. PrEP is a one pill a day strategy to keep high risk persons from contracting HIV. To learn more about PrEP, our PrEP clinic, or HIV testing, call 404-613-4708. Reporting for FGTV, I'm Lynn Vaughn. Teens have a place where they can get physical exams and medical advice all at one location. Employees at the Oak Hill Child, Adolescent and Family Center are encouraging young people to take advantage of their teen clinic. Sports physicals, health exams, screenings and college physicals are available at the teen clinic for 10 to 21 year olds. The clinic is a place where the young clients can come alone or with their parent. We provide services to the teens. It's confidential services generally. The teens don't have to come with a parent. If they've got their insurance information, they can, the Medicaid information, they can bring that with them or we can pull that up on the computer. To get more information about the teen clinic, you can call the Oak Hill Child, Adolescent and Family Center at 404-612-4111. Fulton's Environmental Health Division is busy inspecting some 1,200 pools this summer. We went along as an environmental health specialist inspected the two pools at Welcome All Park. All public pools in the county are inspected twice a year. The main concerns inspectors look for include safety equipment and water quality. Now, if the pool fails to meet satisfactory standards for either of these two categories, it will be closed until the problem is fixed. Fulton County, because of its size, we've adopted additional measures that are actually a little bit more stringent than the state code, so therefore we have our own Fulton County uh, code that we have here for swimming pools here at uh, Fulton County. For the safety category, there needs to be a divider, first aid kit, shepherd's hook, and a lifeguard present. At any given time, we have three to four lifeguards on duty, but we have a total of ten lifeguards available. As for water quality, inspectors measure the clarity and chlorine levels to make sure they meet standards. And up next on Fulton Today, Georgia's First Lady makes a big deal about reading. We'll take you there. Stay with us. The library system's newest branch is now open for residents to check out books and much more. And County and leaders help celebrate the opening rooms. of the 1,500 square foot Southeast Library with a ribbon cutting ceremony. The Southeast Library, which is located at 1463 Prior Road, has 30 computers, self checkout machines and a brand new book collection. This location is part of an area that's growing in southeast Atlanta. Uh, I just talked to some HUD officials from Atlanta and they expect that there will be some retail development around the area, several local schools, apartment complexes, and potentially another 400 single family homes. The libraries of today are not the libraries of that, that we grew up in. The libraries of today uh, have theater rooms and workout rooms and Zumba classes and all of those good things. This is the eighth new library branch for the system since 2014. The new libraries are a part of phase one of the voter approved library building project. Phase two includes renovating 23 libraries and either renovating or constructing a new central library in downtown Atlanta. And finally, it's a very special story time with Georgia's first lady and man's best friend. Lady Sandra Deal read two books to the children at Northside Library. The books talked about dogs who are loving pets and another about the important role service dogs have in caring for their owner. The children were taught not to pet a working service dog. A canine companion 
was also able to join in on story time. <laughs> Mrs. Deal says it's important for children to enjoy reading. And I think it's important for us to read to children to help them to know how important reading is and to teach them to love reading. And they read by example too, you know. If they see people reading books, they want to read books or they want to read the newspaper or the comics. The Northside Branch Library holds story time for preschoolers and toddlers throughout the week. You can see the schedule at AFPLS.org. Just click on the events tab. Very cool. And before we go, our reminder that we'd like to connect with you online. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, anytime on our YouTube channel. Well, that does it for this edition of Fulton Today. I'm Shawnya Chavis Rucker. Thank you so much for watching. Join us each week for news around and about Fulton County.